Today's makeover is a little bit different. This time my husband, who had never worked on a piece from start to finish, is going to take you through his very first makeover. Here's how it went down. So first I removed all of the hardware and cleaned up the dresser. I love when my wife leaves natural wood somewhere on her furniture, so I strip the old finish off of the top two drawers and the top of the dresser. Then I filled in all of the wood chipped veneer with some Bondo, and when the Bondo was dry I sanded it down flush. Then I cleaned everything off again and primed it. I rolled on this Bin Shellac based primer that my wife got tinted so it wasn't white. There was more texture than we like the furniture to have. So I sanded the texture once the primer was dry, and then I primed it again. This time I sanded the primer down by hand so I wouldn't sand through the primer so much. That worked so much better. I hated this whole priming step, it just stressed me out way too much. I also sprayed clear shellac on the drawers and the top of the dresser that were bare wood, so then the wood stain would soak in more evenly. Then I sprayed some Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel in this green color that was a custom mix. I thinned it out with some water and used this Homerite Super Finish Max Paint Sprayer. I was pretty nervous about setting up the sprayer and then spraying, so I tested out the spray before I sprayed the dresser, and then I went for it. The first coat was too thin, so I sprayed a second coat a little thicker so it could level out better per Natalie's advice. And it looked so much better. Then Natalie took the plastic off of the top and she convinced me that I needed to paint the top too. So I started the process over for the top and it was more work but I think it does look better now. Then, my favorite part, I stained the drawers with some water-based wood stain and then I top coated them with some Minwax Polycrylic. Then I put the new hardware on and here's what it looks like now. There really was a lot of trial and error that I didn't have time to mention in this video, but overall I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. 